very windy Orkney. I'm not going to do much talking because I don't think you're here with the wind over the microphone. So I'm just talking with my <laughs> with my back into the wind. It's a very clean Nissan Leaf. I'm going to walk around and I won't talk, but I'll point to any imperfections. Suffice to say, there aren't any. <laughs> um, solar panel tops up the auxiliary battery. I'll include a Type 2 cable, and the granny cable is here as well. Nice official leaf over mat in the boot. And very clean inside. Some proper leaf over mats in all four footwells. No undue odours, no smells, no bits, no tears. Drivers, footwell, passenger footwell. Like I say, I'm yet to vacuum this car, but it is very, very clean. Let's get inside. So here we go. I do love it on Orkney, but you can never <laughs> predict what the weather's going to do. Yesterday we were full of snow, two, three inches of snow. Today it's blown an absolute hooli. Anyway, great Nissan Leaf. Drove this up myself from Birmingham. And it's come from Arvel. It's registered the 25th of March 2014, so it's just three years old. No previous keepers. Straight through its first MOT, which was on... Where are we? The 24th of March 2018. Um, so that's when it expires next year. So a year's MOT. Service book, yes, that's here along with a print, service print from Nissan. But it's had its two services, which is correct, and its last service at 11,000 miles on the 13th of June 2016. So its next service will be a minor, which is just £99 from Nissan, um, which will be due in June, in June this year. But like I said, with all my other videos for EVs, very, very little to service on an electric vehicle. All the manuals are here, the user manual, sat nav manual, quick reference guide, locking wheel nut key is present as well, as is two keys. So with the keys in my pocket, put my foot on the brake, press the power button, and there we go. Showing 16,130 miles. Um, like I said, myself, I've actually driven, I zeroed this when I collected it from Birmingham. 890 miles I have personally driven this car and it is absolutely spot on. Sat nav, lots and lots of features I can show you on the Nissan Leaf. Um, one of the great things that I like is you can set a charging timer, which is what I've done because our cheap rate starts at half past eight. So I'll set the car to charge from 20 to nine. And also, if you have a job in an office and you leave house every day, say 8 o'clock, to go to work, you can tell the car you're going to leave at 8 o'clock, Monday to Friday or Saturday, Sunday or whatever day you want. And half an hour before, the car will start to heat itself up whilst it's still plugged into the mains. And then it draws energy from your uh, grid, uh, from the mains, rather than from the storage battery in the car. So you have maximum range plus you have a toasty warm car I do love the Leaf single shot CD player there Bluetooth uh, connectivity for your phone also your mp3 player uh, AM FM of course auxiliary input lots and lots of things you can play with on the Nissan Leaf as well as uh, there's the import jacks the USB and the jack on the other side um, yeah it's absolutely great, this, this particular leaf, as are all of them. We have auto headlights, we have automatic wipers, Bluetooth phone, control the audio system from the steering wheel, cruise control, as well as a speed limiter as well. Electric uh, windows, of course, central locking, power folding and electric wing mirrors. The Nissan Leaf is great. So, um, 
as you can probably tell it's very windy but there are no marks on the outside it really is a very very clean a center Nissan Leaf so what I'll do now is take you for a, a short test drive so here we are inside the car ready to go I forgot to mention as well this is the gear stick arrangement so when you engage reverse which is across and up and let go always flicks back to that position and you get the lovely reversing camera uh, display in the middle and then to take it out of reverse you basically pull the let me see if we can show you from there pull the lever across and down and there we go we're off I always like the energy information screen tells you what's going on so like any automatic you have a little bit of creep and you just control the speed with the brake and of course it is so so quiet and uh, you find yourself being more relaxed driving an electric vehicle because of the quietness and the ease of driving as well and no gears and ridiculously cheap to run here on Orkney where this car is now where I'm filming from we sell a lot of these to people with their own wind, wind turbines surprisingly enough and also PV photovoltaic panels so a lot of people here and south are making their own fuel for their car and running their own car <laughs> with their own fuel I know it's a lot to get your head around but their running costs are absolutely minuscule. If you haven't got any renewables, well, I've only got I've only got a three-pin plug. Well, do you know it costs around two pence a mile to run. If you've got a cheap rate, economy seven type tariff, this 22 kilowatt hour battery, which is what it will filter, it's a 24 kilowatt hour. You fill it to about 22 kilowatts. Um, it's going to cost you about two pounds and that's if you are nearly totally out of range totally empty so most nights you'll come home you perhaps have 20 30 40 miles left in which case it's going to cost you about a pound that's if you use grid electricity this ticket car drives lovely and straight doesn't make any undue noises um, like I said, I've driven this nearly 900 miles myself and it is absolutely spot on. If you're here on Orkney, I'm more than happy to show you. And if you're really, really serious, I'm more than happy to lend you this car for a long weekend so you can see for yourself how brilliant they are. Three pin plug, granny cable as we call it, is with the car and also include a Type 1 to Type 2, which means you can charge up from fast charges. And of course, here on Orkney, I will actually show you how to use a rapid charger as well. So that basically concludes this very short test drive. So like I said, I usually like to walk around and point out any imperfections to any of our electric vehicles, but the wind is so great today, you won't hear me over the microphone. So that concludes this test drive. If you've got any questions, feel free to contact me, Jonathan, at any time.